Hi, I'm Philip from Base10, and today I'm going to show you how to deploy SDXL Lightning. So SDXL Lightning is this really cool implementation of Stable Diffusion XL that lets you generate high quality images in less than a second. We're gonna talk about how it works, how you can deploy it, and how you can integrate it into your AI powered application. So to check this out, I'm going to go to the Base10 model library where I can go ahead and find SDXL Lightning, click on it, say hi to our little lightning guy over here. And, you know, before I deploy it, let's talk really quick about what this model is. So Stable Diffusion XL, it's a text to image model. You give it a prompt, it gives you back a picture. And this does the same thing, just way faster. So how does that actually work? In order to understand that, we're going to have to take a look at Stable Diffusion XL itself, kind of like the base model. So over here in the SDXL paper, we see the kind of image generation pipeline that SDXL is. So you get the prompt, you feed it into a model, and this model takes some noise and it turns it into an image through a series of input steps. This is called a unit. And the way that it works is it basically is a denoiser. It takes random pixels and it turns them into the pixels for the image you want to see. And it takes a bunch of steps to do that. A traditional SDXL implementation is gonna take 20, 30, in many cases, 50 steps to make a really good image. And that takes time, you know, like a few seconds. But the way that SDXL Lightning works is there's a bunch of different models like this that are called latent consistency models, and they're able to do the same thing in a lot fewer unit steps. Now, latent consistency models like SDXL Lightning traditionally have a few drawbacks. So we're gonna click on this learn more. We're gonna find out a little bit about that. Um, traditionally, if you want to run through this unit process fewer times so that you can get a really fast image result, you're gonna get worse quality. Now, SDXL Lightning is not as high quality as Stable Diffusion, just basically, but it's a lot higher quality than the previous best models like this, such as SDXL Turbo. So Lightning, the one we're doing today, is going to be able to do a full 1024 by 1024 pixel image, and it's gonna have a lot more realism and prompt adherence than Turbo, which only did 512 by 512, and maybe not as high quality. We can actually take a look at this, so SDXL Lightning on the left, really high quality latent consistency model image versus SDXL Turbo on the right, really, really not the same quality. Plus SDXL Lightning, it's, it was made by Bike Nance. It's under the same open rail license as SDXL, uh, the original model. So you're going to be able to run it um, in your commercial systems, no problem. Going back to the main page, we're going to have a little bit of information about how to use the model. That'll come in handy later. And I'm going to click on this deploy button and that's going to take me in here. I'm going to find out about the GPU I'm going to use. I'm going to find out about the auto scaling settings and hit deploy. Now I've actually deployed it for you already. We can see we've got it active here on an A100. It only takes a couple minutes to deploy, but I didn't want you to have to sit through that. And so we're going to head over to my development environment and we're actually going to invoke this model. So from here, I was able to copy this example usage and go over to my deployment, grab my model ID, paste it up here and write a prompt right here. And then this script is just gonna, you know, save it as a PNG file. So I'm gonna make a picture of a mountain village inside a snow globe and let's see how fast it is. All right, and done. That was about a second. You know, there's like network time is, and stuff. Uh, we can see the median response time is about 800 milliseconds for this four step inference. And hey, you know, again, not the highest quality image you've ever seen in your life, but a pretty good stable diffusion image considering that it was created in less than one second on an A100. Let's, uh, let's take a look at, over here we have on base time, we've got some logs. Oh, sorry, I'm blocking your view of those logs. Let me, there we go. So you can see the log from the post request that I just sent, and you can see the inference. You know, if we've got eight iterations per second, we only need four iterations to make the image. That's gonna be your, your half a second, plus time for those other parts of the pipeline that I was showing you earlier. Let's run it a couple more times, boop. And uh, we've got a new image, uh, we've got new logs. Let's do it again. And there we go. You can see the, the logs updating over here as well. 
We can go over to these metrics, take a look at the influence requests I've been sending, the response time averages, and yeah, so that's SDXL Lightning in a nutshell. It's a super fast model for making decent quality images, and it runs on base 10 in less than a second. So if you want to deploy it for yourself, just head over to the base 10 model library, find SDXL Lightning, click deploy, and you'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to find me in the comments or philip.kiley at base10.co if you have any questions.